My name is Aksana Banshikova. I'm originally from Kazakhstan and I'm Paratnatyam teacher, dancer and choreographer. I've been teaching from 2007 in Hong Kong and then since I moved to Edinburgh and trying to find my place in the dance world here. What do I love about Paratnatyam? The simple answer to this complex question would be that it's such a complex, multi-dimensional and amazing dance form that never stops to challenge you, giving you inspiration giving you energy, giving you the will to keep going and motivation. Um, it's like the sea, many people compare it to the sea or the ocean. When you enter, then the further you go, the less chance you have to come out of it. It's never ending learning. It's, um, it's just like a life art form that uh, keeps changing according to you and it keeps changing in the outside world and it's also for me can be compared as the path of self-discovery so as you learn you keep discovering your own challenges limitations how to overcome them you address your emotions you address um, some things that you would not probably have discovered without learning it. So that's the art, Indian classical art in itself. Paratnatyam in particular attracted me with this ground approach. So uh, the dance is so grounded, so earthed, and that energy that you feel by stamping your feet, by sitting low, um, it just kind of translates into your normal life. Um, you become your dance. Uh, you kind of start thinking very linear lines. The rhythm is so strong that uh, it drives you, it gives you energy. The first experience for me that made up my decision to take it up um, when I saw the live performance in Mahabalipuram and um, the setting, the lights, live music, costumes, everything made it so special that there was no way I could not try it. And when you try it, it's so addictive. Um, so there is no way I could uh, live without Paratnatyam. There is everything, absolutely everything I love about it. As a person with different background coming from outside India and 
learning such a traditional classical spiritual art form it was like being born again and absorbing the surroundings smells feelings mythology everything really exciting everything is um, so life-giving but I was 20 year old so I think coming from a different background and entering something so deeply rooted in Indian tradition just gave me that new boost um, I felt like I was really reborn and I keep I keep learning I keep growing I have uh, so much to catch up with but um, it's uh, it's absolutely fascinating. The Indian classical arts are so never ending. And that process really, really excites me. It's, uh, I think it's, it's just probably um, the, the different circumstances that led me to going into Indian classical dance. Um, like I really liked watching Bollywood movies as I was um, uh, young and then seeing the pictures of India, India was a dreamland. So for me, entering that dream and learning fresh, that's, that's like um, a magic world. It's, it's, a, it's a magic world. It's, it's um, something that happened to me that I couldn't have imagined and I'm so grateful for that. Saying that, of course, there are so many challenges. Um, again, um, the perception of um, a professionally trained classical dancer, you would uh, kind of assume that uh, most majority of uh, Indian origin, but I think it's uh, it's changing. The world is changing, and um, the Paratnatyam becomes such a global phenomenon, and um, it's it's traveling through the borders, through cultures. So I'm really happy to be this um, a little tiny dot in the world of Paratnatyam, um, and keep challenging myself uh, to grow to the standard and to keep practicing and hopefully inspire other people um, to not look at age, race, uh, backgrounds, language. Um, anyone can do it. I mean, uh, this is such an amazing dance that um, I think it's just pity that more people don't have experience of that. teacher student relationship it's such a complex but very important part of um, everyone's life I would say it changes culture to culture and um, as I've been dancing and teaching in at least three different countries I can see the approach and relationships change as um, I travel but the most important is just to question yourself as a student or as a teacher what it really means to you um, what do you really want to get out of it so as a teacher what i understood after all these years of um, teaching that i just there is there is no other feeling of um, happiness that see someone opening up smiling and giving back that positive energy to you um, it's not necessarily that um, people will become amazing dancers but if they feel better physically if they feel better emotionally if they they are just happy to spend time with you and they feel relaxed and they feel trusting so for me that's already success 
as, uh, as a teacher. Of course, um, saying that, um, there are certain expectations of quality. Um, so that is the responsibility of the student when they come for the class. And then if uh, a student feels just happy to be in a class and uh, you know joining the energy of dancing with uh, friends and uh, so that's in itself is already a success but if a person wants to succeed become better maybe do some performances maybe not maybe just uh, want to be physically feeling better or explore something new so that expectation is a very personal relationship so the, um, it will take some time between teacher and student to feel that um, what, what do you really want from each other and then hopefully that bond will form and the teacher will be always there as a backbone not necessarily physically but if students feel safe and they know they can rely on that person that person who doesn't restrict their growth the person who encouraging but strict in a way and the person who knows when to step back or when to step forward and offer advice um, so it's it's an ever-changing growing relationship For me personally, Bharatnatyam is so exciting in, uh, in its pure form in, in any way. But saying that uh, I am really passionate about the dance and um, I'm learning uh, more so I can understand more. So taking that outside India and for people who don't have the cultural background or maybe they just don't know much about Indian culture um, as well so it could be quite challenging for them to understand um, the, 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 the mytholo mythology part of it right so that's why outside the uh, Paratnatim became kind of like a Nrita super fast um, attractive uh, explosive um, dance so that kind of like a trap for the audience uh, who would just come in and get inspired by that uh, very complex uh, rhythm and movements. But I think what people could really relate to are emotions, because if emotions are real, if it's the stories that uh, people can relate to, so there are so many inspirations in... Um, in uh, ancient literature but not necessarily if you mention names it kind of uh, gets a little bit lost but um, the concepts the concepts of love greed jealousy they're always here so for me personally i think if it's a, if a dancer tells their own story it could be inspired by anything that we, we can take from the ancient uh, mythology but if it's your personal story, if you're telling it from your own perspective, if your emotions are real, so that could really touch people. That's, I think that's the way forward. Paratnatyam has so much to offer and to cover anything. Like you can show anything with um, Paratnatyam technique, whether it's Nrita or Abhinaya. So I think that way it's not limiting. It could exist in the pure, classical form maybe with a little twist of uh, relatability to people who are watching it and um, also there is a fear for dancers who um, perform outside that people will not understand so that will change perhaps with more opportunities to see the actual paradigm but um, it's not that you should uh, withhold it in the fear that they will not get it so it's it's nice kind of to introduce it in maybe smaller doses but people will get it I have 
total trust that Paratnatyam is not only relatable, it's a future. And there are so many amazing artists out there that are already doing exciting projects, amazing jobs, and they're just um, changing, not the classical form, they're just changing how they present it. And um, that's really promising. I have big hopes for amazing future of Paratnatyam. Tagadom tadi kita dom tadom kita daga tadi tom nam tagadom 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 kita daga tadi tom tagadom kita daga tadi tom tagadom kita daga tadi tom Tagadam kita daga dati tay, tagadam kita daga dati tam, tagadam kita daga dati tay, tagadam kita daga dati tam, tagadam kita daga dati tay, dati tam, tadi kita daga daga dati tam, tadi kita daga daga dimi daga jam, daga dati jam, tadi kita daga daga dati jam, tadi kita daga daga dimi daga jam, daga daga tam, daga daga dim, daga daga tam, daga dimi daga jam, daga daga tam, daga daga dim. Taka taka dum, taka dimi taka jam, taka taka dum, taka taka dim dim, taka taka dum dum, taka dimi jam, taka taka dum dum, taka taka dim dim, taka taka dum dum, taka dimi taka jam, taka taka dum, taka di tum, taka taka dum di tum, taka taka dum tum, taka janu dum, taka janu dum, taka jam, taka taka dum, taka di tum, taka taka dum di tum, taka taka dum tum. Taka janu dam, taka janu dam, taka jam, taka taka dam, tadi tom, taka taka dam, di tom, taka taka dam, tom, taka janu dam, taka janu dam, taka jam,
स्वागत कृष्ण शरणागत कृष्ण 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 मथुरापुरी सदन प्रदवदना मधुसूदन यह स्वागत कृष्ण शरणागत कृष्ण सदी गप दस दी पगरी 
the beauty the grace the elegance the uh, different movements and postures used are very near to life very natural uh, yet very different uh, this is the quality that i enjoy the most in kathak so mathematical so rhythmic so fast yet the movements and uh, the postures are so very graceful very poised besides this quality i also enjoy the challenge that it brings in uh, because i have been learning this art form since many years and yet i feel that i still have such a long way to go to master it every time when you learn a piece and you present and you perform you feel you can still make it much better make it much more beautiful perfect it and it's like climbing a peak and then there's another peak which you still have to climb so it's the challenge that i enjoy the most uh, in learning this uh, beautiful art form the indian classical dance form is so rich in content that a student really needs to spend a lot of time training with his or her teacher therefore in ancient india there was a system called gurukul where the student would go to teacher's house spend many years and learn the art form since there are so many layers and basics which you need to understand step by step and then move forward that the student does need a guidance relating to it uh, in this world of internet uh, just watching a video online uh, and a student picking it up may may not be that very effective or in depth uh, as the student really needs to have some strong foundation before he or she uh, watches a video as well uh, because copying it uh, will will not get that uh, quality of dance that we generally watch from the students who have got trained with their teachers uh, in person i don't have any particular advice for non indian students but it, in fact it's for all the students that anybody who wants to take uh, this art form ahead really needs to give their 100% 
it is a great journey they will learn uh, indian culture indian uh, mythology rich heritage uh, and uh, i'm sure they will have a lot of fun learning this beautiful art form The benefits of learning Kathak is that it is based on mythology and therefore it teaches us the value of rich literary cultural heritage of India. By learning a classical art form, we learn self-discipline. We learn to build self-confidence. We learn teamwork, hard work, long-term commitment. We learn to express our own feelings. We learn it helps us to retain our own body movement. It also helps us to learn patience. I think there are so many good values that we learn by learning a classical art form. Thank <laughs> you. 
ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಕುಚಿಪುಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಏಟ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಸೌತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಧ್ರ ಪ್ರದೇಶ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕುಚಿಪುಡಿ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಟೂರಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಚ್ಚು where dancers used to go from one kingdom to another kingdom to perform their art form and now it has become a global art form thanks to the efforts of many teachers and students around the world kuchipudi is known for its dramatic expressions well rounded movements and graceful rhythmic expression of the music many teachers have contributed for the expansion of kuchipudi especially teachers and stalwarts like guru sri vipadisan satyam garu guru sri pasmat sitaram garu my teacher and many others and we as the second generation are now aiming to spread it even more wider around the world so i thank all the students in hong kong and singapore who are learning now and making it a more global platform It is definitely much easier to pursue Kuchipudi dance learning in India because there are many many teachers still living in India. But when compared to a few decades ago, learning Kuchipudi outside of India has now become more easier. One reason is because a lot of uh, people have migrated to different parts of the world from India and along with them the art form has also uh, transported to other countries. So now there are a lot of teachers in most major countries around the world teaching Kuchipudi. Apart from that, thanks to online teaching nowadays, a lot of students uh, in countries outside can still learn and pursue Kuchipudi. Long time ago, people had to go all the way to India, to Chennai, all Kuchipudi, or Hyderabad and other places to learn the dance form. But nowadays, people get to learn from local teachers who are present in their own country or in their own city. So I would say nowadays it is equally easy to learn Kuchipudi whether you are in India or outside India. I started teaching Kuchipudi dance um, in 1992 majorly to children in India and uh, I used to teach the children not just the dance but apart from it I used to teach them how to sing, the story behind each dance, the background story of the main story and all that helped them to learn the dance properly and present it. And that experience has helped me when I came out of India to Hong Kong to teach majorly non-Indian students. It was almost like teaching little children who have no idea about the stories or the background history of it. So I, whenever I teach students outside India, I consider that I'm teaching children and teach the dance apart from the music, the lyrics, the meaning of word by word, plus also the rhythmic aspect of the dance. So it has been a challenging journey to teach non-Indians, but at the same time it is not impossible because the students are passionate and dedicated. beautiful saying which goes in learning you teach and in teaching you learn it's absolutely correct every day each class is a growing experience for myself as a teacher as i learn different aspects of teaching whether it is teaching the same song to each student in a different way whether it demands the explanation of the music the explanation of the rhythm the explanation of the story word by word meaning or different students understanding level or grasping level is different so each time i teach the same music or the same dance is a different experience with each student so every time i'm teaching i'm also learning to grow as a teacher same for the students 
each time they relearn, learn and relearn the same song is a way of learning for them and growing up. So this statement cannot be more true as far as Indian classical dancers go, because especially by teaching non-Indian students. In learning we teach, in teaching we learn. Namaste.
understand that our culture and then traditions are our roots they are very ancient and it it always evolves in time and space so understanding of our values of life and our heritage that will help you to explore on ideas you see so you must have a basic knowledge of uh, carnatic music if not any kind of music language is also very important you see so you should read a pics example like mahabharata ramayana and uh, purananur agan agananur and then chilapadigaram all that is there our treasures you see so much of wealth in all those to explore you see explore on ideas and that, you know that will help you that's what i believe first thing that you must make sure that you know your dance very well practice well before going to stage and uh, you, the dance must become part of your body actually i always tell my dancers uh, you must be able to you know do the dance without any 
hesitation you see so that much practice that you need to do and a good idea if you can like go before going to stage if you are able to have your parents or your friend mm-hmm. as an audience to watch watch you while you are rehearsing you see that will help you to overcome so your initial stage fright then before going to stage what do you do do some breathing exercises inhale and exhale like before going to stage close your eyes and then you know calm you down before you enter the stage and i always tell my students surrender yourself to dance and to the audience and to the stage so that will help you to you know to overcome the stage fright actually practicing hatha yoga uh simple yoga exercises you know that will and with simple pranayama exercises and learn to meditate here that is that will help a lot and uh, you know to keep your body and then your mind healthy sleep well learn to relax your body and of course practice patience if you are in a hurry to do anything that will you know exact you know activate your uh, negativeness in your body so be positive think positive all the time i think those are the things that very important for a for anyone not only really just the dancers for anyone to keep their body healthy and then you know body and mind to keep healthy think positive all the time do not remove all the negativeness from your mind and then all, all the time have positive thoughts so th- i i'm not asking you to you know to to remove all the negative you should it be able to manage your negativeness in your in your mind you see anger and then you know like um, all kind of emotions but try to embrace them if you are if you are in a pain try to embrace the pain if you are in you know if you are jealous you feel jealous try to embrace those so that will help the mind to be more calmer you see so you can't remove them from your body because it's natural for anyone any human being to have all these emotions you can you cannot be saintly all the time you know when you get angry at times you get jealous of somebody you will you will have negative thought but try to embrace them instead of telling them go away from me embrace them so that will go away automatically from you so the, all the positive thoughts are very important for a healthy mind actually uh, the future is actually very unknown especially at this period of time and digitalizing is a new world for all of us so you 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 may turn into doing your your art digitalize same time you may want to do uh, a physical you know it 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 will clash to each other we have no idea and i do not want to predict the future of dance at all because it is unknown for me now i have no idea what will become in 10 years time even in in 2 years time i i have no idea because it's very challenging time now but for sure this art will evolve and it it may take a new shape with the needs of the human kind and time and space that's what i believe so you have no idea what will happen you know because from from the time that we know that how bharatanatyam evolved to this time or dance evolved like ballet and then even other 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 dance forms it has evolved mm-hmm. similarly way this also will evolve in time according to geographical conditions and then the needs of people because we made the art we made this art form right so human we created this art so it has to evolve in time so we may create it in a different way according to the needs of that time you see we do not know what are the needs of those people at that time in 10 years time those generations we do not know what they need it
Oh, no. 